this tutorial, we are going to see how to get started with Scatter. First, open the main dialog. Here, I want to scatter a few bushes around the cabin. I have prepared a few assets, as you can see, here. There's are the bushes I want to scatter all over the terrain. Here, in the host rollout, click on the first icon to start picking a surface. Click on the terrain to pick it. When it's selected, you can click on the icon again to deactivate the picking tool. Now in the viewport, you can see a first preview of what the scattering will look like. Next, we are going to pick the scattered objects. In the second rollout, click on the first icon, then pick the objects you want to scatter. There you can see the preview has been updated. For now, the distribution type is uniform. You can see that it's kind of random, but pretty uniform. You don't have big holes or clusters. We can switch to random. So this is purely random. You can see it's less uniform. You have holes like this, you have clusters. So it really depends on what you want. I'm going to stick with this one for now. Here you can see I have a path. And I don't want any bushes to be scattered on the path. I'm going to scroll to the areas wall out. Click on the first icon and I'm going to pick my path. This is just a simple curve in a group. Once it's picked, I'm going to select it in the list, then click on Exclude. This discards every object that has been scattered inside it. But you can see there are still some objects which are overlapping with the path. To fix that, we need to change the boundary check from insertion point to size. And now you can see, nothing is on the path. Also, I don't want the bushes to be scattered all over the terrain. I want to restrict them to some areas. To do that, I'm going to uncheck Use Surface Boundaries as Include Area. So all the objects disappear for now. And I'm going to create a new paint area. Now I can paint where I want my bushes. Something like that. I can click again on Paint to deactivate the tool. I can also click on Erase if I want to erase parts of the area I painted. Or Paint again and modify it. Now, I want some randomness on how the bushes are generated, so that they don't look all the same. I'm going to enable rotation. This will randomly rotate each object based on these values between minimum and maximum. I want to enable scale as well. There will be randomly scaled between 80% and 120% of the original size. And I'm going to enable horizontal mirroring. Now I can name my setup.
and click on Generate to generate the objects in the model. And there we go! Now I can close Scatter. If later on I want to edit my group, I can simply right click on it and click on Edit Scatter Group. And now I have access to all the parameters again that I can change. For instance, I can modify my paint area to add some objects over here or over there. And click on Generate again. Now I want to add some trees to my scene. I'm going to close Scatter. Then, to create a new scatter setup, I simply click on the toolbar again. There you can see I have a blank setup. I'm going to name it Trees. So, again, I first select my surface. Then I can select my scattered objects. But here you can see I have way too many trees. But I don't want so many, so I'm going to put some space between them. I can simply increase the spacing to 5 meters. That's much better. But some trees are still too close from each other. So I'm going to enable collisions and there you can see there are no overlapping trees. But there are maybe too few of them now. So I'm going to decrease the size multiplier. This means that when Scatter will compute if two objects are overlapping, instead of using the whole size of them, it's going to use a fraction. Let's put 50%. So now we have a bit more trees, but not as much as at the beginning. Like for the bushes, I want to restrict where the trees will be scattered, so I will use the paint area. First, I uncheck Use Surface Boundaries as Include Area, and I can create a new paint area. But my brush is too small, so I'm going to increase the brush radius to 3 meters. Now I can paint my trees. Same here. I want some randomness on how they are generated. So I'm going to enable scale and I'd like them to be a bit smaller so I'm going to put 50% here as the minimum and I'm going to enable horizontal mirroring and I can generate. There we go. I can close scatter As always, I can go back and edit my work by clicking Edit Scott Group. I can paint again and generate. I'll change my bushes. I have access to all the parameters again. So that's it for this quick start tutorial, I hope you find it useful, enjoy Scatter!